Hi, this is Rebecca of Braxis Coaching. Today I want to talk about warming up, warming up our body and our voice. It is no fun when we get in front of the audience cold and shivering, whether we're shivering from being cold and or our nerves. So this, this warm up is four things that you can do to warm up your body and voice and get more comfortable and confident. So the first one I want you to do is called the dancing bear. It just gets the whole body moving. And when we start moving the body, we actually start moving our energy and, and our voice actually moves more efficiently and clearly and more dynamically. So what you're going to do is stand up and move your hips back and forth and let your arms just follow. And I'll give a quick demonstration. So hips back and forth and just let and really get into it. You can make this big. I'm not going to because the camera's going to fall. But that's the dancing bear. And you can have fun with that. And you'll start feeling more enlivened. And you're, when you feel enlivened, your voice will too. Number two is I want you to hum the Star Spangled Banner. Just like that. And it doesn't matter if you could do the whole range or if it sounds good. What matters is that it's helping you warm up the vocal chambers, the chest, the mouth, the nasal cavity, the head, all those get warmed up. Okay, and it has a full range, the Star Spangled Banner. And also with humming, you're going to loosen up the sinuses. And when the sinuses are clearer, you're going to have a better tone to your voice. Cool. All right, number three, we are going to roll the lips and roll the tongue and hum the ABCs like this. Now the rolling really helps to warm up and loosen up the muscles inside the larynx and the throat. This is real important for an effective speaking voice and singing voice. And it's fun. And again, it'll get those chambers. So this will warm up the whole body as well. However, some people have a hard time with rolling their lips like this. You can see it's kind of loose. Now, if you're trying too hard and controlling it too much, like um, contracting the muscles around the mouth too much, you're going to do something like this. And it's not going to be real fluid. Another thing if you're having trouble rolling is notice the breath. You want to really sustain the breath. The breath will support the rolling. If you're taking too short of a breath, you will not be able to roll. So take a breath so you can roll with it. All right, number four, warm up here. This is called the fire breath. And the fire breath is an advanced pranayama exercise from yoga philosophy. So it is advanced. But it, it will help us if we just do about 20 to 30 seconds of it and no more because it is an advanced practice. You just want to do 20 to 30 seconds. And this breathing exercise goes like this. Forceful inhale, forceful exhale, like this. And you can go at that pace or you could slow it down. You may want to have a few tissues available. You never know what's going to come flying out. Um, but this is a very heating uh, breathing exercise. And you'll start getting warm from head to toe with that exercise. So we have four ways to really warm up um, our voice, warm up our bodies, so that you just feel open to being your dynamic, awesome self wherever you're speaking, on camera or with an audience. I hope this was so helpful. Um, my name is Rebecca Abraxas. If you want more of this, please subscribe to the page or join me on my email list. And I hope you have a fabulous day. Take care.